like that little intro. It was super, super fun to make. And I hope you enjoy the little house tour and like Iris's a new family house. It is currently up on the gallery. So if you are interested in downloading their house yourself, you can check out my gallery ID, which is Melissa Lays. But today is going to be quite an episode. We have lots of things to do and things I have planned for Iris. It's winter fest tomorrow, actually. We are really close to finishing up Iris's generation. So for her skills, we basically have everything done except we need to bring her singing skill to level eight and we're done with all the skills. And then we just have to join her last career, which is the entertainment career. And we're done with the Renaissance Sim aspiration. And then the one that I do not want to do at all, which is divorcing and remarrying the same sim. So we are going to end up divorcing Carter at some point. What I feel is going to be the reason that Iris is going to end up divorcing Carter is because she has been bottling up all of her emotions ever since her sister passed away in the last episode she hasn't been talking about the death of her sister she's been basically ignoring the fact that she passed and refuses to acknowledge it and i feel like it's definitely not the healthiest way oh my god i thought she was gonna go to the toilet with phoenix her way of coping isn't the healthiest either so it's not looking too great for her and also since it is winterfest tomorrow i definitely want iris to talk to her mom and finally get her answers if she even gets any answers with her mom so we're gonna spend half of tomorrow oh can we not Let's go wake up Phoenix and pick him up and change his diaper because he's still stinky for some reason. You would think they would change his diapers after a bath, but I guess not. Okay, let's go change his diaper and then we'll put him in the crib after you're done. And then I actually want to go out. Oh my god, the little bubble's still in his hair. I can't. I definitely want to go on a little power walk around the neighborhood so Iris isn't stuck at home. What was that? Girl, okay. But yeah, so we're gonna walk around the neighborhood with a little baby Phoenix and get to see the cute power walk interaction with him on her back. So I'm really excited to see that. I'm nervous, I'm sad knowing what is going to end up happening anyway. I really hate that we have to divorce Carter, but as per challenge rules, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, but we will let Phoenix eat or sleep and nap for a little bit if he wants to. Are you gonna go nap, little buddy? Or do you wanna just go straight walk in? Because we can, we totally can. What time does Carter get back home? Yeah, he doesn't come home till five, so we can go on a little afternoon walk, which I think would be so, so freaking cute. Also, Violet, are you hungry? Okay, no, you have food. Look at our little kitty. I love her so much. Let's go kiss her. We should give her some love. I feel like we haven't given too much love to Violet lately. And it's almost Phoenix's birthday. Wait, is his birthday tomorrow? His birthday's tomorrow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, does Violet not want any kisses? Violet, <laughs> let us kiss you, please. Okay, thank you. Cute. Ah, oh, Phoenix just fell asleep. I don't want to bother him too much. I'll let Iris do a bit of house chores then and then around maybe three o'clock we'll feed him and then we'll go out in the neighborhood and go for a little power walk. I think that's how Iris likes to distract herself from all of the events that has happened in her life recently. She likes to be busy so she doesn't have to think. Oh, look at your little baby. He's so cute. I can't believe he's becoming a toddler tomorrow. 
Oh, also, I do want Iris and Carter to have another baby. I don't know if before the divorce or after the divorce, but I definitely want Phoenix to have a little sibling. And I am thinking that Phoenix will end up being heir anyway, because there's not much time left in Plum Gen anyway. We're literally almost done with Plum Gen, so I don't think there's not enough time for the second child to even be quite qualified to be an heir. I just figured that Phoenix will end up being heir anyway. Wakey wakey baby Phoenix. Let's go feed you and then we're gonna go out. Are you excited? Oh, you don't sound too excited. <laughs> oh, he's so cute though. Okay, is he good? Okay, he's just gonna potty in his little diaper, but that's fine. But I definitely want them to go out get some sun even though the sun's not really out <laughs> oh girl okay you got me worried for a little bit let's see where is the power walk sign oh here it is before we do that let's go put a phoenix in a back carrier perfect so cute and i hope she changes into her athletic wear look at this I'm kind of sad it's cloudy, but you know, we'll we'll take it. This is so adorable. He looks so happy to be out. I love this so much. Okay, let's go, you two. Yes. You look so comfy, Phoenix. You hear the birdies? Don't they sound so pretty? The little baby babbles, my heart. Oh yeah, perfect. Gotta stay hydrated. Definitely very important, girl. Oh, Carter's about to get home soon. And I want Iris to definitely talk to him about her plans tomorrow. To let him know that we're not going to be there for the first half of Winterfest with them. Because she's going to be out talking to her mom. So let's see what Carter says about that. Because I feel like Carter knows it's not a good idea, but we'll see how that discussion goes down. But for now, I at least do. Enjoying the little walk. I love it. And I love that she has a water bottle with her. <gasps> Okay, Carter, he makes a grand total of 101 simoleons per hour. He got the bonus of 874 simoleons and an innovator award for excellence in science. Let's go. You know we have to celebrate, girl. <laughs> How are you, Phoenix? You're having a good time? Amazing being. Phoenix just had a blast spending time with an incredible sim. <gasps> That's so sweet. Yeah, look at these two. Okay, your mommy looks pretty tired, so we should probably go home. I can only imagine carrying a whole little infant around the little park area. It must be pretty tiring. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and put a phoenix down here, and then we'll greet Carter and congratulate him on the promotion and celebrate before we get into celebrating we definitely have to tell him about the serious stuff first oh so cute have fun little phoenix Ooh, why is he tense though okay let's go sit here let's go caress his cheek and kiss him express admiration oh. and basically <gasps> Toe and mouth? Milestone unlocked? Wow, Phoenix managed to stick his toe in his mouth. What a cute display of flexibility. Wait, I want to see that. Hold on. Are you doing it? Oh, no. It's okay. You're a little shy? That's okay. Oh, look at these two. I cannot believe they have to break up. I'm so upset. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. And he's giving us a massage without having us to say anything. Hold me closer. Wow, the love language of touch from Carter just made that moment truly magical for Iris. It has Iris pondering the joy of tender caress or the comfort of a warm embrace from a beloved sim. Is this a moment of realization that Iris likes physical intimacy? Yes. No! Why? <laughs> I'm so sad. Let's go reveal that we literally just got promoted, which is amazing. Other jokesters? That's cute. Congratulations, Carter. We are so proud of you. Like, that's amazing, babe. I'm so proud of you, and you are such a hard worker. Let's do a little steamy kiss. Ooh! 
<laughs> oh, I love those two. Like, yeah, it's so sad. Okay, but we need to have a serious conversation now. I do have to tell you that we actually planning on seeing our mom tomorrow and finally getting the closure that I've been wanting to have. And I feel like if I don't get to talk to Marla, I'll always have this regret in the future not knowing what she truly feels about me. Tomorrow for Winterfest, I'm gonna head out and go visit my mom. And Carter's like, share insecurities tell her that he's not really like sure if that's the best idea oh look at her she's like okay i know it's not the best idea but like i need to do it for my own sanity and you can tell me it's a bad idea or not but i'm i'm gonna do it anyway i need to talk to my mom and get answers and carter's like well okay babe i know how much this is important to you and like no matter what i say i always choose your happiness over anything else and if you think it's a great idea then i support you in your decision but i really just hope everything goes well tomorrow and then iris is like oh carter this is why i love you so much babe oh she got a little hungry <laughs> she's like hold that second thought i want to go eat wait carter you're also hungry too and you want to take a shower y'all can shower later okay so y'all can eat and then we can finally celebrate a little bit now that iris told carter about her plan for tomorrow and that he approved she's like okay great i'm happy now we can get to celebrating oh my gosh if she gets pregnant from this this is going to be crazy but we'll see we'll see how this goes oh okay yutsu okay let's go woohoo with carter oh she wants to ask carter on a date maybe another day it is a tuesday night <laughs> knowing what's gonna happen next is making me so sad but we should all enjoy these last cute moments of them being adorable and in love because it's not gonna last too much longer. I'm so upset. Is this going up? Barely. <laughs> it's going up a lot for Miss Iris, but Carter, it's barely going up. No protection was used. Clean and satisfied. Squeaky clean and satisfied. It's not bad to multitask sometimes. Love that for you. Pleasantly satisfied. That woohoo was something to remember remember so i'm not gonna have her take the test because i don't think she's like really trying it right now and i want the element of surprise to see if she's pregnant or not so if she's prego we'll find out in a couple of days but before carter goes to bed oh little phoenix fell asleep down here let's go put him to bed carter oh he's angry awake and angry phoenix is awake and in an angry mood i'm sorry but you we had to move you to your crib oh no baby's crying okay. iris we gotta feed phoenix he is hungry and then we can go back to bed good night <gasps> What happened, Violet? What happened? Oh, why is he crying? What happened? <gasps> Missing being held. Hello, is anyone here? Phoenix is crying from being put down and left behind. Rest time. Infants require regular naps. Phoenix has been awake for too long and is starting to get cranky. Better put him down to bed. We'll kiss you goodnight, Bubby. Let's do you to sleep. Okay, he fell asleep eventually. Let's kiss him. We love you. That's so cute. Okay, girl, let's go back to bed. Okay, it is roughly 6 a.m. We need to start getting breakfast ready for the family before we travel all the way to Willow Creek to see our mom. Oh, we should also decorate too. Uh, I don't think I got the box for decorations for this house so let's just buy that real quick and then we'll buy a tree here you go perfect there's not a lot of room so we'll just put this there and put this there we'll have to remember to put violet stuff back but there you go perfect What's up, Carter? He's feeling tense. I feel like he's tense because he has a bad feeling about Iris meeting her mom, but he can't really say too much about it because he already agreed. Ooh, cute. 
So let's go cook a grand meal for the family. Let's make breakfast for them and then get ready to go out and finally confront our mom over all these years. Oh, she's thinking about her brother. She's like, I'm doing it for us, brother. I'm finally going to get answers from our birth mother. Carter, don't eat. <laughs> don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. She's making food. Just wait a little. Ooh this is so cute blow her a kiss that is so cute watching him ah! he's like you look so good while cooking and that food smells great oh i'm so upset that they're gonna break up for the first time my sims are actually eating together usually that does not happen but let's enjoy his company just talk about how a little nervous she has to meet her mom today i'll cheer him up a little bit but tell him that it'll be okay like i'm sure everything's gonna be fine he has bad feelings about this he does not like it at all and i think she is getting a text from marla so she's like okay babe i just got a text from my mom she's on her way to the place we agreed to meet up at so i gotta go get ready and leave now i love you thank you carter i'll let you know what happens so let's go we are here and it's super snowy oh my god iris that is your mom you haven't seen in forever ever how do you feel do we hug her do we shake her hand like this is weird this is weird i guess we'll like hug her and be like oh my god hi this is so crazy thank you for agreeing to meet up with me this must feel a little weird no Marl's like yeah it's kind of it's kind of weird but it's good to see you you look so so grown up iris let's go have them look at the art together just look around the museum and enjoy the artwork here before we really get into sitting down and talking with our birth mother look at that beautiful right look at that art gorgeous how much do you think that is like a lot <laughs> let's look at this one together hi why is there a stranger go away stop talking to me Okay, let's look at this one together. That one looks nice, right, right, right. Ooh, look at all of those instruments. Wow. Let's go up here. Let's look around over there. Our auntie is calling us. Quick question, James and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Girl, I don't know who that is, but go for it, I guess. That's nice, right? That looks nice, gorgeous, beautiful. Oh, she's thinking about Iris. So let's go sit and chat over here. <gasps> she's probably talking about the recent move to her new house. And she's like showing her her family home she just bought with her husband. So, so far so good, which is nice. Oh, why are you sitting so far? But okay. Well, let's go ask about her day. Okay, yeah, Iris. Definitely scoot in. So... We're here asking her about like, yeah, so thank you for coming and actually wanting to go out with me and hang out with me on this Winterfest. I've been dreaming about this day for a long time. Marla, or do I, you know, do I call you mom? I don't know. This whole thing is still weird to me, but I'm really glad you came out here for Winterfest and hello. Who are you? Why do you keep coming in our conversation? Go away. Anyway, but yeah, so they're here talking about like catching up about life and like what Marla has missed and she left us as a baby. Oh yeah, let's enthuse about our children. So Iris thinks that everything's going well and Iris is like, oh, so, you know, are you going to come over for Winterfest? I would love for you to meet my son or your grandson, Phoenix. It's actually his birthday today, and I would really love to have you there. And then Marla is like, uh, well, Iris, I wanted to actually come here and let you know that i'm happy that we did get to see each other again and you know catch up and i'm like so happy to see you be in a really successful relationship with your husband i'm so happy to hear that you have a beautiful beautiful son 
but I don't know how to put this, but I just wanted to let you know that I really had not much of an interest being too involved in your Barry family. I just have my own family that I am currently caring for and I just don't think I can do the whole second family thing. And then Iris is like, wait, what? Like, where is yeah. this coming from? She's like, wait, are you serious right now? I thought you also wanted this. Like, this whole time you were having such a great, beautiful moment. But now you're telling me you don't want to be a part of my life? Your grandson's life? What kind of mother are you? And then Marla's like, I, I knew you wouldn't understand, but like... I only agreed to come here so we can close this chapter in our lives. And she's like, no, you're closing this chapter in your life. You're being selfish, Marla. <gasps> oh my god. So uh, this is a huge shock for Iris. She did not expect to hear that from her own birth mother to say that she is not interested being in her life just because she has her own little family that I guess she cares a lot more for. And then Iris is just like, so what am I to you? Am I not your daughter? Do I mean anything to you? And then Mario's like, no, you just don't get it. I, I, I would try to like explain it to you, but you just won't get it. So this is making iris super super upset all of the bottle of emotions that she's been storing since her sister's death is slowly cracking which is not good oh where is marla going excuse me where do you think you're going you're not leaving us like we have a lot to say to you oh is she literally just dishing us oh girl just left our mom just left no one scenario why can't they understand no amount of logic and passion could move your foe oh no feeling unsure something went wrong and iris is losing their confidence so now iris is upset her mom literally did not even stay to say goodbye her mom's literally like there's no point in arguing with you you're not gonna understand but this is goodbye iris and just left her behind just like when she was a baby again oh no this is not good before we go home let's go take an angry poop hey why are you getting mad at me she's gonna be like why are you yelling at me so iris is just making enemies because she's in the worst mood right now so we're gonna chew him out don't even try me oh girl how did you get so sweaty too oh boy okay if you try to talk to iris or get on her bad side she's gonna chew you out literally and oh no iris do we really have to go home oh boy this is not good i know what's gonna happen when we get home girl let's go change your outfit because it's not that cold here oh so carter's like oh hey babe you're back home already so let's go hold her hand and be like so what happened what's going on and then iris unfortunately is still really upset and she's too angry to think clearly right now so she's gonna give him the cold shoulder oh no and carter feels the tension he knows that something's wrong so this is not good this is not good <laughs> iris is just gonna be mean to him basically and lash out on him because the bottle is finally cracking all of her negative emotions that she's been penting up inside is finally exploding and unfortunately carter is the only person that's right in front of us to really get iris's anger and sadness and it's leading up to a really not so great divorce <laughs> oh no so cardio is just here being like what is happening what happened with you and marla and then iris is like yelling at him and be like you know i never want to hear that name ever again why didn't you stop me if you knew it was a bad idea you should have told me to stay home and we could have spent more time for phoenix's birthday instead of wasting my time with marla and then 
Carter's like, but this is what you really wanted. And I, I really wanted you to do what you want. And then Iris is just like, it was an awful idea. You should have just convinced me to stay home. And then she's just going to go all out on him and be pretty nasty to him. Oh, and look at him. He's so hurt. Carter feels wrong by Iris and being around Iris will remind Carter of that pain. Festering grudge. Carter has a deep-seated grudge against Iris. It's hard to forget or forgive the past which may make being around iris feel very unpleasant for carter this is not good so iris right now is just going nuclear and carter's like you need time for yourself or you need time alone like we shouldn't be even arguing right now and then iris is like you know what yeah i think we do need separate time from each other i think i am better off alone but she is going to divorce him thinking it's the best idea because she's just too angry and she's blaming all of what her mom did to her on carter so she's gonna end up divorcing him even though carter really meant like, a little break <gasps> oh he's crying <gasps> Carter is feeling sad right now and not his typical cheerful self. His life has taken a pretty gloomy turn. So he's going from cheerful from gloomy. And I think we're going to go with that because like right now he's like really upset that Iris went this far. And he's feeling a little bit guilty even though he shouldn't because it's not really his fault. So I think we're going to embrace that change. Oh no! Saddened. It's disappointing to see a rift in this one strong relationship. Iris wishes things were different and wonders if Carter feels the same way. And she feels furious. Just the sight of Carter gets on Iris's nerves these days. Like, how dare Carter show his face? No! <laughs> no! And all on Winterfest and all on poor Phoenix's birthday? This is awful. Now, now they are divorced iris's new plan we're gonna go ahead and call up our dad we're gonna go into our little hobby room over here and call our dad and let him know that we are going to be moving back and that her and carter just got a divorce and it's a really long story that she doesn't really want to talk about right now but she can't afford to live in this home because she has no job by the way she has no job so there's no way she can keep up paying this bill so carter is going to be keeping the house here he's gonna continue to live in the family home because he just got promoted and he can definitely afford it himself so iris thinks it's best if she were to move back to her dad until she gets back on her feet so she's calling her dad and letting him know that if she can move back and of course mercury loving his kids and always being there for his kids he's like yeah of course baby girl like you can't always come back home you don't have to explain yourself like i hear that you're hurting right now and that we have an extra room for you and phoenix so yeah of course you're welcome back home oh look at that face of regret oh this is sad this is sad and phoenix has no idea what's going on it, it's his dang birthday and he's gonna be so confused that his dad's not gonna be there with him this pains me this hurts <laughs> you see this happy little family well it's not so happy anymore <laughs> Carter and Iris are gonna share Phoenix but for now she feels like she has the right to take Phoenix with her so she's gonna keep Phoenix for like the first week or two together and then Phoenix will go back to his dad on like the weekends or something and we're not gonna take any money because this is all of Carter's money and Mercury's rich so we're good how is Phoenix all the way down here how did he get all the way here oh my god iris no freaking way she's actually happy she's single it feels great to be out of that stuffy relationship <gasps> I can't. Are you serious, girl? It's been such a crazy one, such a dramatic one, and everything that just happened hurts my heart. Trust me, I am upset how things went down, but we'll see how Iris and Carter make up.
in the next episode, which I think might be the finale of Plum Gen. Can you believe that? But if you all have suggestions of how Iris and Carter make up, y'all gave me amazing suggestions from the previous episode, so keep them coming. I love reading your suggestions. It really helps me a lot, and I love that we can like curate their stories together. So if y'all have any ideas like that, definitely let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy this episode, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.